When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, AKA Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at number 155 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs, The Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. He says, some people claim to have seen the curvature of the earth out their airplane windows. The glass used in all commercial airplanes, however, is curved to remain flush with the fuselage. This creates a slight effect mixed with confirmation bias people mistake for being the curvature of the earth. In actuality, the fact that you can see the horizon at eye level at 35,000 feet out both port starboard windows proves the earth is flat. If the Earth were a ball, no matter how big, the horizon would stay exactly where it was, and you would have to look down further and further to see the horizon at all. Looking straight out the window at 35,000 feet, you should see nothing but outer space from the port and starboard windows, as the Earth horizon are supposed to be below you. If they are visible at eye level outside both side windows, it's because the Earth is flat. Okay, this one I've dealt with before in another video, so I'm going to reference it here. I happen to be one of those who, people who have seen the curvature of the Earth out an airplane window. I've seen it a couple times. Now, I'm a fairly frequent flyer, taking 10 to 20 flights a year as part of my job, and nearly always I take a window seat because, well, the world is gorgeous up there, and why would I not want to view? And in the well over a hundred flights I've taken, I've seen the curvature of the horizon twice. And the reason it's been so rare is that circumstances have to be just right. You need to be up 30,000 feet or more. You need daylight and the sky needs to be clear. Not your local area around the plane, but the horizon uh, in the sky needs to be clear and unclouded because you need to be able to see the actual ground or water. Most of the time, when you look out a plane's window in the, the, to the horizon, and even in high altitude balloon footage, you're not looking at the horizon of the Earth's surface, but the horizon of the cloud cover in the distance. Though your plane is 35,000 feet above the ground, it may be less than 15,000 feet above the clouds in the distance. How noticeable would any curvature be at 5, 10, or 15,000 feet? I would say not at all. However, if the appearance of the curved horizon was due to the curved glass on the fuselage of the plane, that same curvature would be visible no matter your elevation. But that's not what we see in footage like this. I took on a flight uh, uh, to Dallas. I'll put a link to my original video here, but I'll summarize some of the key points. The video was taken at over 36,000 feet, and you, as you can see, there is a clear view to the horizon. The horizon is curved high, low, and in the center of the field of view. So if there is distortion, it's not due to the camera. Dubay would have you believe that this level of curvature is due to the window of the aircraft and my confirmation bias, and apparently yours, because you see it as well. Now. If this were due to the shape of the window, the view of the gra at ground level would be distorted just as much. But as you can see here, when I landed in Dallas, there was no such curvature. Dubé goes on to say that since you can see the horizon at eye level out both sides of the plane, that proves the Earth is flat. Well, by that logic, the fact that when I looked out and captured the horizon with my camera, the horizon was below eye level disproves the flat Earth, right? Because you can clearly see the horizon has dropped below eye level through this Theatolite uh, app recording. Now, I'm not going to sit here and claim that this app was perfectly calibrated, but I can say that the ground level view captured with the same settings uh, just, you know, 40 minutes later is pretty much dead eye level, which means the horizon rose to eye level as we went lower in elevation. 
Dubay's next line says, on a ball, we would have to look down to see the horizon, and that's exactly what happens. Now, his claim that we would have to be looking at outer space is just rank foolishness. Why would anyone see space if they're still looking at the atmosphere? You're seven miles up with clouds above your head. Why is this fool talking about space? What kind of fantasy world does he live in? Oh yeah. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.